Yo dogs on YouTube. Today we are going to continue with another chess strategy installment, another pawn structure 101 sort of rip off, take off. I'm allowed to rip off my own series because I make them over on chess.com, so that's okay. And today I wanted to get two things across how to use a space advantage, or at least what the definition of a space advantage is, which obviously concerns the pawns, and how to recognize an advantage in pawn chains. This is probably going to bring our installment of the chess strategy, how to use your little dudes, how to use your pawns, to an end here on YouTube, until I think of something else to contribute to it. But let's go ahead and jump right in. To first get across what the definition and concept of space is in chess, let me set up what is known as kind of the dream position, if you were able to develop and your opponent essentially wasn't playing for the first 10 moves, right? The point is that space, by definition, is all the squares you control behind your furthest advanced pawns, typically the center pawns, but you can also have big space advantages on a particular side of the board. But let's stick with the center for now, just so you understand the concept of space. If you have the furthest advanced pawns, either on the fourth or potentially even the fifth rank, you not only have more squares for your pieces, but you also are restricting, because otherwise your pawns would capture them, right, your opponent's pieces. So whoever has the furthest advanced pawns has a, a small space advantage. What is space? If you have more space, your pieces have more options. More options lead to more powerful pieces. More powerful pieces potentially give you better tactics. More tactics potentially win material, and we know that it's much easier to achieve checkmate and basically win a chess game when you have more material. So let's run that concept over real quick one more time. Space is more options. Options is more power. More power is better tactics, better execution. And better execution gives you a better chance of winning the game. So to understand that Achieving a space advantage is really big in chess. That's why they always say attack the center. If, if white was able to get the pawns, let's say, even further in this position, you would have an incredibly dominant situation where black's pieces are restricted, white's pieces have a ton of options, and will likely get very, very strong and dominating tactics quickly. So to define space, we would basically say exactly what I said. Space is options, which is power, which is execution, and all that stuff leads to a better position and the better chance to win the game. So always look for a chance to achieve more space. Pawns will dictate space. One of the most common themes in terms of space is when you talk about closed centers, pawn chains, something like here you see a French. In this situation, it's very clear where both sides have their space and where both sides want to attack. I'm quickly playing some moves that are opening theory here in the French defense. And the point of a position like this is that Black has achieved a space advantage, his furthest advanced pawns on the, on the queen side, and so all of his pieces naturally are developing over here to try to exert pressure. That's where his pieces have the most options. White, on the other hand, has a space advantage on this side of the board. Black's pieces are restricted over here, and White will likely get much better tactics on this side of the board. If Black is to simply castle and bring the king over there, he'll be looking at defending against White's attacking chances for the rest of the game. This is a very common position that is reached, and it really shows you what a space advantage is. And when you have a pawn chain, you understand both sides want to attack in the direction of their pawn chains, because that is where their biggest space advantages occur. Better space advantages lead, as we've said, to better power for your pieces, which lead to better tactics, etc., etc., etc. To end this chess strategy installment here on the little guys, I want to show you a really great tactic example, one of my favorite type of tactics in chess, which is the free kebab, also known as the Greek gift, the very famous destroy the castle position with a bishop sacrifice tactical motif, which only occurs because of a space advantage. White has achieved a space advantage on the king's side. By definition, if there's a pawn on e5, there's no knight here, which means there's a slightly exposed king. White recognizes that and executes a very, very common tactic here. Bam town. Bishop takes h7. The king has to take it. If not, it's just as bad. That's the Greek gift. We lure the king out. And this tactic is always quickly followed by a knight check. The, the exact specifics can change. Maybe the bishop is here. Maybe the queen is here. Maybe the king is castled. Maybe it's not. It doesn't really matter. But this theme here occurs because of the pawn space advantage. When the black king retreats, this is a mating net that is unstoppable. The threat of mate on h7 forces the rook to move. We capture f7 first. Always give a check on h5 next. Give this check on h7. Give the check on h8. And then now, a really fun way to finish it off often is a move such as queen to h5, which threatens mate on f7. If they block it, knight h7 comes in, which is also checkmate. There's a number of ways for white to really end this one in, in fashion. And 
it all starts because of a space advantage, your recognition and knowledge of a pawn chain. So if we started this whole series with doubled pawns and isolated pawns and backward pawns, improving your ability to recognize weaknesses, then we moved on to sort of the end game advantages, the past pawns, the pretenders, the pawn majorities, protected past pawns. I just wanted to give you some quick knowledge of what middle game pawn chess is all about. It's about gaining space via the best way you can because more space is more options and the whole thing I've already held your hand down before I don't need to repeat myself and pawn chains will tell you what side of the board to attack on it's like swimming with the river it gives you that boost of energy so this is an example where black's play is obviously way too slow he hasn't achieved what he needs to and white's play is simply crashing through with reckless abandonment and it's a really good example of how good tactics come from good knowledge of positional chess so still, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying these chess strategy installments as well as the uh, live sessions and bullet brawls. For a chance to play in one of those or watch them live, you can follow me on Twitter at Daniel Wrench. You can also follow at Chesscom on Twitter. And we will see you around over on the main site. Hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you around on Chess.com.